college for women. I'm so elated. It's amazing. I couldn't sleep last night. I was so nervous. My name is Tipora Canal. My name is Sam Weprin. I just turned 22 in May. I come from Dayton, Ohio. I'm 21 and I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. My family is, is a YU family. My dad actually went to YU High School and college. In high school, I put a lot of effort into my SATs because I really wanted to get an academic scholarship in order to come to Stern. And uh, the hard work really paid off and Stern gave me an academic scholarship that has definitely made it easier to come here. It was the end of my sophomore year in high school. I was learning more about YU and the different possibilities that existed. They took a risk and allowed for me to come to Yeshiva University as just beginning my junior year after two years of high school. My first day on campus was very exciting, uh, very interesting, very overwhelming. My first day on YU was pretty amusing. Coming from Pittsburgh, which is a pretty small town, I was a little bit overwhelmed at being in New York. One of the coolest things about Stern being in Midtown Manhattan is that you're around the corner from Broadway and from Carnegie Hall and from the Lincoln Center and you can just as easily walk to your dorm or walk to an opera at night and there's just cultural experiences here that I didn't even know existed before I came. Stern has a tremendous number of clubs available for the students. The students have access to so many things that don't exist on any other campus. The one that stands out most fondly is the music department and the opportunity of playing and letting my musical skills develop here has been one of the most fantastic experiences I've had in school here. I started wanting to get more involved in things that I was passionate about. I found out about the Medical Ethics Society, helping to run bone marrow drives. We run a giant annual conference, which is actually the largest conference on the, on the East Coast. We really help inspire and educate people on the ethical and, and, and medical aspects in modern medicine. HASC is an organization that has residences and programs throughout Brooklyn for people with developmental disabilities. And our job as counselors is to kind of to help them just have as fulfilling a life as possible. It's one of the most fantastic opportunities. I found that they also had a martial arts club that was a little rocky off the start that they were trying to develop. I was able to get involved with that, offer my assistance as an instructor, and develop really what became known as a Student Martial Arts Club. What I appreciate most about Stern by far is the academic rigor that it has kind of pushed me to strive to really, really achieve academically. I got to work in a number of different lab settings and I got to experience what it's gonna be like as a professional researcher. And it's really opened my eyes to the entire academic world. So I was a biology major. See, I took classes like cellular biology, biochemistry, developmental, these kind of courses, which you really have a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention with your professor. People are here to make sure you succeed. By far, my favorite part about Stern is the intimacy of the setting. Stern has a wonderfully warm atmosphere, and you see it in the cafeteria. You find there's, there's always students finding corners to sit in and kind of catch up with their friends, which gives it a very homey and warm feel. Really the most important thing with medicine is learning how to interact with your, with your patients by interacting with a large variety of people here. You meet people from you know, all shades of life and that helps you to learn how to interact with all different types of people as well. University, the main drawing factor for me was the Jewish education. They took this, this passion and desire I had to want to grow and, and they gave me the facilities and the opportunities to do that. Throughout the Judaics courses that I've taken, I've always been challenged to think, which as a practicing religious Jew is probably the most important thing that any class could ever have given me. We have an environment of, of religious Jewish people that care about one another and that really helps your growth even more than what you could do on your own. After graduation, I'm moving to Israel actually in a couple of months and I'm so excited and I hope next year to work, ironically, in special needs. I'm so happy I've graduated, this is amazing.
So I'm lucky enough to be able to participate next year in the Yeshiva University, um, in the Yeshiva University Fellowship Program here on campus. I'm going to be working with admissions. I'll be able to travel around as well as interact with high schoolers and let them know what an amazing experience this school has really been for me and what they, what they, can, really, what they can really have access to at Yeshiva University. Yeshiva University sends best wishes and congratulations to President Sue with the symbolic diploma. 26th day of May in the year of 2010. Yeshiva University really offers you this environment, this friendly, outgoing, this fun environment not only is it social, but you really have the opportunity to grow in so many ways, religiously, socially, um, emotionally, everywhere you turn, there's someone there to you know, offer their help. CERN is really awesome, and I really, it's really helped prepare me for where I want to go in life, and I really thank CERN for that. It's not just a school, it's very much like a home, and I would never have been able to get that if it wasn't for my college experience, if it wasn't for my Yeshiva University experience.